Welcome to an example on how to find the surface area of a function of two variables. In this example, we're asked to find the area of the surface of the paraboloid given by z equals x squared plus y squared that lies below the plane z equals 16. So our goal is to find the surface area of this blue paraboloid that lies below the plane z equals 16, which is graphed here in red. In our previous example, we found the surface area of a parametric surface given by r of u comma v, but in this example, we're trying to find the surface area of a surface given by z equals g of x comma y over the region r in the xy plane. So the surface area is equal to the double integral over the surface s integrated with respect to s, which equals the double integral over the region r, where again the region r would be the region in the xy plane of the square root of 1 plus the partial root of g with respect to x squared plus the partial root of g with respect to y squared differential a. So going back to our example, notice how if we project the paraboloid onto the xy plane, we get this circle, where because the equation of this red plane is z equals 16, if we replace z with 16 in the, in the equation of the paraboloid, we get 16 equals x squared plus y squared, which gives us this region r on the xy plane, which is a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 4. And looking at our formula here, g of x comma y is equal to z, which equals x squared plus y squared. Now let's go ahead and find our partial derivatives. So the partial derivative of g with respect to x is equal to the derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect to x, which would be 2x. And the partial derivative of g with respect to y would be the derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect to y, which would be 2y. So the surface area, which equals a double integral over the surface s, differential s, is equal to the double integral over the region r in the xy plane of the square root of 1 plus the partial with respect to x squared, which would be 2x to the second, plus the partial with respect to y squared, which would be 2y squared differential a. Let's go ahead and simplify the exponents. So we have the double integral over the region r of the square root of 1 plus, well this is going to be 4x squared plus 4y squared. Let's factor out the 4, so we'd have 4 times the quantity x squared plus y squared differential a. So because the region R is a circle, let's write this using polar coordinates, where differential a is equal to r dr d theta, and x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So in polar coordinates, we have the double integral over the region R of the square root of 1 plus, this would be 4r squared, and again differential a is equal to r dr d theta. And now using the region r here, we'll determine the limits of integration. Limits of integration with respect to r would be from 0 to 4. The limits of integration for theta would be from 0 all the way around the 2 pi. Let's go ahead and evaluate this to determine the surface area on the next slide. Well, to perform u substitution, we'll let u be equal to 1 plus 4r squared. So differential u is equal to 8r differential r. So let's divide both sides by 8. So we have 1 eighth differential u equals r dr, which means in terms of u, all of this would be, well, the square root of 1 plus 4r squared would be the square root of u which would be u to the one-half, and then r dr is equal to one-eighth du. So now if we integrate, with respect to u, we'd have one-eighth times u to the three-halves times two-thirds, which means with respect to r, we'd have one-eighth times two-thirds times the quantity one plus four r squared raised to three-halves. We can simplify here, there's 1, 2, and 2, and 4, 2 is an 8, so here we have 1 12th. So we have 1 12th 
times the integral from zero to two pi, and now performing substitution for r, when r is four, we'd have the quantity one plus four times four squared to the three halves, minus when r is zero, we'd have one plus four times zero squared right to the three halves, d theta. Simplifying again, we have one twelfth times the integral from zero to two pi, here we're going to have one plus 64, that's 65 to the three halves, minus, here we'll have one to the three halves, which is one. This is just a constant, so we can write this as one twelfth times the quantity 65 to the three halves, minus one times integral from zero to two pi d theta, or if we want one d theta. So the antiderivative with respect to theta here would just be theta, so we have one twelfth times sixty-five to the three halves minus one, and we have the antiderivative, which is theta. Performing substitution, we'll just have one twelfth times the quantity sixty-five to the three halves minus one times we just have two pi minus zero. So the two and the twelve simplify. So the surface area is exactly pi divided by six times the quantity 65 to the three halves minus one, which is a decimal would be approximately 273.8666. And because it's a surface area, this would be square units, which again is a surface area of this paraboloid below the red plane, z equals 16. I hope you found this helpful.